I've spent the last week traveling to some of the coolest cities, towns, and villages across southern France. The weather's not been great in southern France, and it's been mostly cloudy the whole week I've been there. So I made a decision to climb high into the Pyrenees Mountains and drop down into Spain, where I could see that the weather was much clearer. On that journey, I had to climb a steep 7,000 foot road into the Pyrenees and to the tops of the mountains. On that journey, the van had a little bit of a problem, which I needed sorting out. I spent most of yesterday pushing the poor transit to its absolute limit, climbing up the mountain into the Pyrenees. So it's about a two hour journey of just straight climbing up hills in the middle of nowhere, up the side of mountains, really dangerous roads. Like it wasn't, it was a bit hairy at some times. Um, Got about 80% up to the top. Luckily, I got that far up and I had a, an oil light come on saying I need to service the oil. And oh, that was a nightmare. I was in the middle of nowhere, no signal, halfway up the side of a cliff and I get an oil light. Couldn't have been any worse. I managed to get safely to a small village just in the middle of the middle of the hills um, to spend the night because it was getting late. All the garages were shut. I've managed to drop it off at this garage this morning after some real bad language barriers. I think we've managed to settle on an oil change, a new oil filter, hopefully. And he said it'll be done in an hour. So fingers crossed. In the meantime, I'm going to go and explore this little ski village in the middle of the Pyrenees. my fun in the small ski village of Salagusa. Now time to head back to the van and hopefully the bloke has got it all sorted. I've just finished up at the auto centre where they were changing the oil in my car and I was speaking to the reception lady trying to figure out what was happening and how much it was going to cost and paying up the bill and it all finished and the first thing she said was me, which she typed out on Google Translate was, you need four more tires. And I was like, all right, I paid you for an oil change not to look at my tires. I thought that was a little bit suspicious. Uh, I was like, oh, really? Like, yeah, there, there are older tires and they're, they're, some, they're not like four new tires instantly. Um, so I was like, oh, how much is that going to cost them? And she was working out the cost. And then while she was doing that, she slipped me the cost for the oil change. And I saw it and I was expecting, you know, I knew it was in the middle of nowhere and up a ski resort, so I knew it was going to be a little bit more expensive. She slipped it and it was 200 euros for an oil change. And I was like, fuck, if she's wanting me to get four new tyres, I'm like, that's going to cost a bomb. So then she's working out, speaking to her colleagues in French or whatever. And then she types out on her phone, a total cost for the oil change and tyres was going to come to like 700 euros. I'm not doing that. That's a reminder, don't get your car serviced or new tyres in the middle of a Pyrenees mountain because they're very expensive. <laughs> in my misery of just spending 200 euros on some new oil and an oil filter, without me even knowing, I crossed into Spain, which is a nice pleasant surprise, finally getting out of France. I left France on a bit of a bad note with quite a heavy bill, so I'm not gonna go back there anytime soon. Hopefully Spain is a little bit more cheaper and I'll have some good things for me to see.
I have arrived in I think the best spot I've ever been in on this trip so far. I am in a northern part of Spain, around about one hour out of the Pyrenees. I mean, this spot is really cool. I'm in a Bortal 3 zone, slightly upper mountain, looking over this massive lake and the skies, every direction is clear. There's no interruptions at all. It's gonna be a really good night of taking images. There is nothing around me. There's no lights, there's no houses. You know, one person has come past in their car in the five hours I've been here already. I'm really excited for tonight. I think it's gonna be the best night of astrophotography so far on the trip. Tonight, I'm taking pictures of the Iris Nebula in the constellation Cepheus. The Iris Nebula is a blue reflection nebula. And the reason why it's a reflection nebula is because in the center, there's some hot blue stars surrounded by gases and dust. And because the stars are blue, the dust that surrounds the stars is blue, creating this really cool blue dust effect in the middle of the nebula. Now that center part of the nebula is really bright and can be photographed pretty easy but the thing that I want to get is the dark structures the dark nebula of dust and gas that surrounds the blue central portion this is really hard to get as it's really faint now that's the reason why I'm in a Bortle 3 zone in the middle of these mountains in the middle of northern Spain. When you're in these darker locations, let's say Bortle 2, 3 or even maybe 4, you can really start to pick out those dark structures that surround nebulas. This is the first time I'm photographing the Iris Nebula. And to be honest, I think it's one of my favorite nebulas that I see people photograph. I think the colors are really cool. It's quite a challenging to get all the dark structures around the nebula, um, but when it's done really well, it looks fantastic. I'm lucky I'm gonna get a full night of clear weather tonight. Hopefully all the weather apps are correct and are saying the right thing, because I know they can be a little bit dodgy sometimes. But it's looking like I'm gonna have at least until 10 o'clock at night, and then it starts getting light again at about six in the morning. So that gives me a nice long time to be gathering data.